Welcome back, everyone. We hear a lot these days about Democrats embracing socialist ideals, but do they have even the slightest clue about the dangerous philosophy they're espousing? Not knowing or refusing to admit the dangers of socialism is this week's Looney Left. <laughs> Here is Papa Socialist himself, Bernie Sanders, way back in 1988, talking about the wonders of the USSR, remember the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. And then, from the young pioneers more recently, we have AOC on the Berlin Wall. Take a look. I think it's also fair to point out that when we were in Moscow, for example, I think most of the people here also were extremely impressed by their public transportation system. The stations themselves were absolutely beautiful, uh, in, including many works of art, chandeliers that were beautiful. It was a very, very effective system. No matter how you feel about, a, about the wall, you know, I think it's a moral abomination. I think it's like the Berlin Wall. What Bernie isn't talking about is the fact that the Moscow Metro was literally built by slave labor from the Gulag and funded by starving Russians in the countryside to death. But hey, at least it has nice chandeliers. And what AOC doesn't seem to understand is that the Berlin Wall was built by socialists to keep their own people in because socialism is so bad, whereas a U.S. border wall is built to keep illegal immigrants out because capitalism is so good, they want to come here. Uh, so, <laughs> who wants to start these people? You gotta love Bernie Sanders. This is, it's 1988 when he's talking about how great the, the Soviet Union is. One year later, the Soviet Union crumbles. I mean, this is how good Bernie Sanders' judgment is. And the, I mean, I love this, these old videos because you look back on these things and you think these people have no perspective. I mean, Bernie Sanders is basically the, is basically the Walter Durante of, of his generation, Walt, who was a New York Times reporter who did what? He covered up all of Stalin's uh, starvation of 30 million people. And he won a Pulitzer Prize for it, by the way. So I used to think that these comparisons with um, socialism and, you know, Venezuela and, and so on and, and, and the old USSR, I thought it was a bit extreme. You know, they're really talking about social democracy in Europe, the D Danish policy or whatever. But actually, when you hear, for example, AOC, the way she's talking about the Green New Deal, or as uh, Kimberly Strassel at the Wall Street Journal has brilliantly called it, the, the Green Leap Forward, like mm -hmm. the sort of Chinese communist yeah. thing. It's really extreme. They are actually talking about controlling the entire economy. Yeah, it's it's almost like a religion, right? Is, it's, 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 it's to change the whole political system from within ideologically. And it filtrates into our system, into our universities, our young people. They begin to espouse these same ideas. It becomes it becomes a religious practice so in a way. And when I when I heard Bernie Sanders talking about the bread lines, look, my mother came from Cuba. She talked to me about the very beginnings of Fidel Castro. She came in the 1960s from Cuba to the United States when neighbors would turn neighbors in. This is a system that does not comport whatsoever with U.S. ideals, the foundation of our Constitution. Mm -hmm. It requires people to turn on each other and for a government to answer for everything. Mm -hmm. You no longer have a choice, right? You no longer have the choice. It is the government that makes that choice for you, and that changes fundamentally and that's why everything. everyone wants to leave, and that's why they had to build exactly. walls to keep their people in. Tessa, do you think Bernie would be embarrassed by video showing him praising the Soviet Union? Yeah, no, he's been pretty consistent, you know, during his entire career. I think what's the difference between then and 2016 and now is no one really vetted these things because they didn't take Bernie Sanders serious. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm not a socialist. You know, I make that clear every time. I was with him because I thought it was ridiculous that only one person was will willing to challenge Hillary Clinton. Now that he is clearly the front runner, clearly, whether they want to admit it or not, we'll get a chance to really get into, you know, what he said in the past and what he's praised and how they will will really affect Americans. And I think people are going to be shocked um, to see some of his views and will that really carry over to the moderate folks in the center when it's time to vote for a general election. Yeah, that's right. And actually, you're describing my attitude. You know, we, I like the fact that he was this disruptor, challenging the corruption mm -hmm. on the Clinton side, mm -hmm. challenging all that, but, but didn't get the scrutiny. And well, now he is.